at about the 15-yard line to await the kick. And Mora approaches the ball, and it's a low-line drive kick, which will be picked up by McNary at the 25-yard line, and he stumbles with it and has to fall on it back Brian at the Collie 21. Start out. <laughs> with uh, pistol formation, Lundquist, the snap, will give it off, and a uh, run there up in the middle to the 25. Uh, Lundquist again out of the pistol set. And Colton Cox back there. He's going to get the give this time. Right tackle. He'll uh, bounce through the line and gets Tweet. out near the third formation line. Lundquist under center on third and short. Here's the snap and uh, the ball is loose out there on the field and a uh, dive into the bottom and I don't know that Zach ever really got it cleanly. And now again we'll line from up with that I formation. Receivers each side of the line. Lundquist from under center. Fourth and short on the first series here for Ron Colley. Here's the snap and the give to Cox and he's going to get ahead. Boy, there's a great Four tackle there by Milbank. Each side Lundquist out of the shotgun. Now uh, in motion out of the backfield is Connor Fiedler looking, looking. Lundquist will throw and Sales will go in motion to the right loading up trips right side. Lundquist again looking to throw. Will step up. Has time. Fires deep downfield looking for McNary. A nice catch by Braden McNary at the Millbank 35-yard line. line. With the catch, a beautiful catch in one-on-one -on -one coverage. And that was a heck of a job by Landon. My apologies mixing that up right away. Here's the give into the line. Connor Fiedler's Field first carry off the, the line. Lundquist out of the shotgun. Second and nine. Here's the snap. And the give will be uh, to Braden Summers. He's formation got a with Lundquist out of the short shotgun snap. Here is the snap and a play action pass. Lundquist rolling to his right. Will put it up in the air. Has a receiver. That's McNary complete at the, the line four yard side. line. Zach under center takes the snap, and here's a quick at fire second and goal. McNary. Lundquist under center, long snap count, and here comes the pitch back, and it goes to Cox. He'll cut back, nice cut back inside, and it looks like he's going to be stopped McNary short the of the back. And feed through the fullback here is the give, and it's to McNary who bobbles it a little bit, but will get into the end zone for the score. Colton Cox has become the long snapper with the injury to Colin Hilsendigger. Here's the kick by Mog, Mog up and good in the, the 40. And the kick is a high, deep kick. Montag will take it and watch it actually roll into the end zone. So we'll get up under center, boot. one back in the backfield. In the field. And a man in motion. First and 15 from the 15. Cody Doctor in motion, and they're going to give it to him as he comes around the edge and defense after this play. The second and 11 for the Bulldogs. Yeah. And re Doctor will come in motion to the near side. They're going to pitch it now to the right. And a uh, carry up to about the 23, 24 yard here. side. Snaza out of the shotgun all alone in the backfield. He'll look to the right and has a receiver wide open. And the pass made to Montag. He slips free of a tackle and will get pushed out of line. bounds by two receivers left, one near side. Snaza under center. In motion goes Doctor to the left, and here is the pitch. It's going to come back to Montag. He'll cut it back into the line, and we'll get out past the 45 center with yard line. in the backfield. Two receivers left. Doctor now goes in motion to the left, and Snazzo will look to throw, puts it up right, and the uh, pass and intended downfield for Van Sambeek in the slot, and Cody Doctor wide near side. Out of the shotgun, Snazzo will take the snap. Option play, and good job there the by Ron to read and down. now the Cavaliers will drop back both McNary and Summers to receive. And there's Bulldogs Bulldogs Snaza under center, quarterback sneak, and he's got room. He'll get ahead for two yards and a first down. And again, that uh, hard cadence settles the shotgun. Three left, two right. Three left, two right. And now here comes the man in motion, and the jet sc uh, screen is going to, or jet sweep, rather. They try to pitch it to the man Snaza in motion, Montag, out of the and he never with Montag behind him in the backfield. Three receivers, two left. Snaza looks to throw. We'll fire it right, and we'll put it up in the air, and Logan Karst has the, the ball. snap, and Snaza will set up a screen play to Montag. Roncalli buys into it. The play will go spread it again. Three yards. receivers left, two near side. Snaza from the shotgun on fourth and four, and looking to throw. Snaza now will tuck it away and will break it to the outside. Turns it upfield and a nice job on the open tackle, open field tackle there by Alex near side. Garvey. Two backs in the backfield with Lundquist from the shotgun. First down play. The give goes to Colton Cox and he'll spin into the line and will get on to Colley. the 45 again. As Fiedler will stay in the backfield. Lundquist again out of the shotgun. And they're going to fake the give to Fiedler. Now we'll swing it out right to Cox. He's got room and will get a first down out to the Millbank 49 yard line.
Yeah, First the way they're spotting him, Millbank 49 yard line. Lundquist will fake the give, and now we'll look deep downfield looking for McNary, and the uh, ball is, is incomplete. Line. Coverage and out of the shotgun. Lundquist looks to throw a quick slant pass and reception by Hayline. He'll get it all the way down to the 30 yard line. First and 10 ball actually spotted at the 29. Lundquist again from the shotgun looks to throw, fires it over the middle, and has it complete from the McNary. 23 yard line. Lundquist from the pistol formation. Here is a play action pass. Lundquist rolls to his left, steps out of a tackle, fires it complete, and downfield run out of bounds at the five yard line. That is Colton Cox with the grab. Good That's for five. Out of the shotgun, the pistol set, receivers each side. Here's the give to Cox, right side, sprints to the edge, turns it upfield, and will take it in for the score. Millbank looked like they had it kind of uh, pinned in. Clean drive and there, there, no cool. penalties that I can remember on that. Here's a kick up by Mogg, a good job by Karst down the snap through to get the it down. The Bulldogs now await the kick from Austin Mogg. And... Uh, Mog will approach the football now. Here's the kick. It's end over end, and this will be taken by a uh, well, new runner out there and uh, tackled. Uh, empty backfield, five on receivers first down, and now here is the snap. Same and set, three receivers left, two receivers near side. Snaza out of the shotgun in the backfield. Man in motion comes to the near side, and here is the sweep inside and the yeah, tackle five made by set. Alex with the spread formation. Again, man in motion is uh, Montag. This time, the quarterback, Snaza, will keep it. Spins out of one tackle, but uh, Ron Colley swarms him under as uh, Connor Fiedler there leading the way on the stop. third and 12. As Snaza will take the shotgun snap, fires it over the middle, ball complete, and there is a hit by Braden McNary. Put on the receiver, Cody Doctor, but Doctor does a great field. job to hang. Snaza will work out there. of the shotgun. Spread formation. Snaza will try to run right, and it looks like he might have got it on the second effort. It looked like Ron Colley had him stacked. Get a fresh set of Snaz will get up under center. Montag in the backfield. Here is the play. Nope, they uh, give it good, uh, good on play fourth. action into now the again five receiver set. Snaza from the shotgun. Man in motion is Montag near side. Check that. That is uh, 35. Riley Van Sam B. Receivers three is near go side. Snaza out of the shotgun. Takes the snap, looks to his right, has a receiver complete at the 35-40, and bouncing out near a first down is Kyle Montag. So the Bulldogs now will line it up first and 10 at their own 44-yard line. Montag set in the backfield, Snaza under center, three receiver set. Long snap count. Snaza takes the snap. Gives it to Montag right side. Past the 45. Out to about the 40. Snaza from the shotgun. And here is the quick swing pass right. And that'll bounce off the hands of the intended receiver. Dice formation. Two receivers near side. One right. And Montag in the backfield. Snaza on third and seven under center. Takes the snap and the give to Montag. And he's going to be stood up. Got maybe a yard Look on his back forward. Two deep receivers here for the Cavaliers. McNary and Summers are back there. Here's the kick. It will go right angling off to the sideline. Summers will scoop it up at the 25-yard or 15-yard line, 20, turns it upfield 25, and is going to be brought down at the 30-yard line. line. It up now. I formation, Lundquist under center. Receivers each side, and here is the quick swing pass to McNary, and he's got some room out to the 35-yard line. Off the line in McNary the slot. Now in motion out of the backfield goes Fiedler. They'll load up trips left. Here's again quick swing pass to Hayline. He's got room. Another Boy. first down to the Millbank. Four. Now two receivers each side of the line as Fiedler goes in motion out of the backfield. Lundquist looking will swing it to the right, and Fiedler now will set it up. They're going to bunch up three receivers near side and one wide left. Here's the swing pass to McNary. Got it. And will step out of one tackle on his feet and will get ahead and uh, gets a little surge from behind. So I'll push him all the way down to the and here is the snap, and the give will go inside. That goes to McNary, who will step out of a tackle, get a first down, all the way down to the Bulldog 25-yard line. Peterson near side, Colton Cox wide left, McNary in the backfield behind him. And here is the pitch. It'll come back to McNary. They'll sweep it right. McNary cuts it back up. And uh, mine up just off the line on, on the now. right. And now Cox in motion out of the backfield. Here is the misdirection play inside. That goes to Braden Summers, and Summers is going to get ahead down inside the 20-yard line. Tight end up on the line. 
Lundquist will take the snap and will give it off to Cox, who's got room off left tackle. Slips out of a tackle, first down, and keeps driving and gets Cameron down to Colley the 11-yard line. 11 yard line. Lundquist under center, eye formation, and here is a play-action pass. They're going to lob it. McNary wide open in the corner and comes up with it for the touchdown. An 11-yard pass, and again, play-action into the line, sold it, and just the lob pass to McNary in the corner, and Braden McNary comes up with the grab. Lundquist looking to throw, is going to come out of the pocket, wants to fire it through, and will get it into the hands of Hayline and at the 40. And we'll approach. Here's a low line drive. And now we'll head off to the right and we'll roll all the way down to the one yard line. And Montag has to pick it up. He'll come back up and we'll bring it out to the uh, 13 yard line. There's a flag there. coming sets. in. Snaza under center. Montag in the backfield. And uh, the ball loose as uh, Snaza never had it cleanly on the snap. And Ron Colley says they have it. Do the officials agree? Indeed, they do. And 10 pistol There's set. Four receivers. Lundquist from the shotgun. Now we'll send Cox in motion out of the backfield. And Lundquist, with a lot of time to throw now, will tuck it away himself. Will turn it upfield, spins, dives, and is going to be stopped about a yard short of the end zone. Receivers off the line each side. Lundquist will take the snap, will dive in, and he will get in for the score. Zach Lundquist calls his in own motion, number. And comes Colton Cox near side. And now uh, Lundquist looks to throw, fires it, completes. And that is a walk into the end zone for Colton Cox on the yard line. Pass conversion. So and Mog will get the signal, approaches the football, and here is a high short kick that will come to Wolschlager at the 20. Brings it near sideline, turns it upfield, 25, and run the out of bounds pistol formation, two receivers yard. right on first and 10. Here is the snap, screen play set up, and it's picked off by the big lineman Schlosser, who's got one man to beat, and he's in for the score. The screen play set up, Schlosser read it, comes up with the grab, and he, the big man rumbles into the end zone after the interception. And Schlosser with the interception and TD return. After and kick. he'll return it with 3.45 to play as the snap is a good one. Kick is up, and that one is going to go wide Aberdeen left. Aberdeen Ron nope. Colley lead. The uh, Cavaliers again set to boot it away. Austin Mogg has it teed up and will angle it off to the right. And that one is... Uh, Picked up by Wolschlager at the 23-yard line. He's going to get out to his right. The give goes into the line to uh, Kyle Montag. Should have led to Ron Colley's course. Two receivers right, one near side. Again, Snaz under center with Montag behind him. In motion goes Cody Doctor. And now here is the jet sweep right, and nothing there as the Cavaliers break that play down. Good job over Hold there. The, now uh, line up pistol set. Snaza from the shotgun. Two receivers to his right. And he'll look right, puts it up in the air, and has it complete over the middle. And that goes to uh, Jacob Jackson, who will be brought down at the 41 yard line Cody about Doctor two yards short of the side. Snaza from the shotgun. And here's the fourth down play. Snaza looking to throw, puts it up in the air, and Karst has it picked off at the Ron Colley 45 line yard line. to the left side. They'll bunch him up off the line. Here's the snap, and it's low. Lundquist will get it, and uh, looking to get rid of it. Now will throw it downfield. He's got a receiver there, and a nice job on the catch by uh, wait for it. Uh, a good deep. job by Zach to get rid of it, and thankfully he gets up healthy. Trips to the left, and Lundquist looking to throw. Now now will float to his left, and he's going to get the the ball uh, knocked loose. Lundquist looking to throw, and I don't know if that was if his arm was in left. forward. Trips left. Landon Hayline wide near side. Lundquist out of the shotgun with all day to throw. Fires it over the middle, looking for Everson. He goes down low to get it, and they're going to whistle side of the line. One back in the backfield, and Lundquist to throw. Again, just a four-man rush, and they're going to air it out for the corner, looking for McNary, and he comes up with it in the corner, and he's got it for the score touchdown. And that is a ball well thrown again by Zach Lundquist. Throw it up in the air, lob it to in the, the corner. Backfield. There now. is a flag. Lundquist out of the shotgun. Receivers each side of the line. Lundquist will fire it up Receivers over the middle and side for one him. wide left. Milbank will bring a four-man rush. And Lundquist looking to throw. Will fire it up. Fires downfield looking in uh, in traffic. And there is a catch by McNary. Uh, up tightly, though. And they may just elect to take a knee. I think Milbank couldn't kneel on it and run timeout. Again, formation set here by Milbank. 
And it'll the, be Riley Wolschlager yep. and Kyle Montag back deep to receive again for Milbank. Austin Mogg approaches the football, and a high end over end kick will uh, carry all the way back and will roll into Playoffs the end zone Tuesday for a night. So, certainly some things for them to work on. Isaac Snazza will work out of the shotgun here. Empty backfield, five receivers out on the field. Snazza will take the snap, will roll left, and, and we'll try along a little swing doctor. Van Sambeek and. Uh, I believe that's Nolan Foss wide to the near side. Empty set once again, and there's movement in three left, two right. Empty backfield, Snaza from the shotgun. And we'll take the snap. Looks to his left. Gets flush from the pocket, and he's going to be brought down for a loss. Back inside the five-yard line. Wants to get some positive yards here. Montag in the backfield behind. Snaza out of the shotgun. And Snaza looks to throw. Sets up the screenplay. They have it complete. And he will get out to the, the 12-yard line. And the Cavaliers bring a couple. Here's a high kick angling off towards the right sideline. A short kick. Cavs are going to out of the pistol formation. Two receivers left, two right, and a back in the backfield. And the give will go to Alex Garvin, the uh, lone setback. He'll take away a bonus. Pistol formation. One receiver each side. Here comes the pitch back to McNary. They'll seal it off for him. He turns it upfield. Flags fly. So and line up two receivers right, one near side. And now Cox will float in motion out of the backfield. They're going to pay fake this swing to him, and now we'll get it to Braden Summers, who uh, goes against the grain, turns it up downfield, and we'll get ahead for a first down, and he'll uh, get all the way down to the 10-yard line. Cavaliers with a little help. In the same formation, pistol formation for the Cavs. Lundquist turns all the way around. Now we'll give it off to Summers, who takes it into the line, and we'll get up the gut for six or seven yards. And the thanks to five-second count is on. Cavs got to get rid of it, and they're going to be called for delay Receivers each side, and Lundquist will take the snap. The give will go to Colton Cox, and he'll cut it back up and will push his way ahead and uh, on a second surge may have gotten close Split to back the 10-yard line. Set in the backfield. Lundquist up under center. Third and five. Here's the give in to uh, the fullback, Summers, who gets a nice surge and is down near a first near down. Side comes Summers. Wide right is McNary. Split backs in the backfield. Lundquist out of the shotgun. High snap and now he'll uh, pull it down, keeps it himself and it looks like he might be stopped short. Back. And it looks like Summers a tailback here. Logan Carstel split wide right. McNary wide left. Here's the snap, and the give will go to Garvin, the fullback, into the line, and he's going to uh, crash down, be stopped short of the goal line. The tailback now. Lundquist will keep the ball and will try to dive off center, and he is in for the score. So, so the hold to come. All right, ball down. And the ball is down. Kick is up, and uh, it looks like it is good. I just want to get out of this thing as healthy as they possibly can, and head into the end zone or head into the postseason as healthy as they possibly can. Here's a high kick, and again, it's going to carry all the Key way out to the, the goal backfield. line. Snaza all alone out of the shotgun. Three receivers near side. Now in motion comes Riley Van Sambeek, and uh, Snaza will, I think, call his own number, and he will get, get as much work in here as possible. In a game situation. And now here is a uh, five receivers, three to the near side. Snaza out of the shotgun set. Here is the snap, and Snaza looking to throw. will put it up downfield. And, uh, boy, that should be an offensive pass. Sure interference no coming down there. on that or not. Second and 23 now for the Bulldogs. As Snaza takes the snap a little bit low, he'll swing it right. And intends it over a little swing. again to the near side. Five receivers set. Snaza, the shotgun snap, will look to throw. Fires it over complete to Montag. He's got it at the 15 and the uh, kick. gets back, back about deep for Ron Colley near midfield. And Jackson will have a high snap. Ron Colley coming hard after it. Jackson gets it away. Low wobbly kick will be uh, let go, and McNary will watch, watch 30 it roll seconds dead. and counting to play here third quarter. Lundquist will take the snap and will pitch it back off. They're going to give it to Everson, and there's a flag thrown. Now the uh, special so downfield. The Cavaliers now will line it up. They're going to spread the field. Three receivers near side, one back in the backfield. Lundquist working out of the shotgun. And here is a delayed draw play. This will go to the running back, Alex Garvin, who's got some room over the 30 and tripped up at about the 35-yard line. With one back in the backfield. 
Here's the snap, and they're going to swing it out to Cox near side. He's got some blockers ahead of him past the 40, 45, and uh, brought down Single at the 48 the yard tight end up on the line. Lundquist out of the short shotgun snap. We'll take it, and we'll give it off. Again, that is uh, Garvin. This time the delayed oh, draw Braden does Summers nothing. motion to the far side of the field, and Lundquist will look to throw. Rolls to his left, puts it up downfield, complete to Cox, who three receivers set. by Snaza. Near side, one receiver goes left. That's Hayline. Out of the shotgun. Lundquist gets the snap, looks to throw, fires at a cr downfield, complete to Everson at the 50-yard line. Time to do it. So, so Ron Colley gets that. First and 10. Now they're going to hand it off. Colton Cox will go to his left and will uh, get off down the line to near the side. Pistol formation. One receiver left as well. High snap, and Lundquist is going to get buried as uh, the snap went over his now head. Cox will go in motion to the left, and they're going to fake the pass to him, swing it out near side to Summers. He's past midfield, still on his feet. And is going to be brought down. Well, uh, spread it out. Lundquist in an empty backfield. Gets the snap. Four-man rush. And Lundquist will roll to his right. Puts it up. Has it complete to Hayline. And that is and good Everson for first down the near side. Pistol formation. McNary in the backfield will get the give. And will dance at the, si at the uh, line of scrimmage and get thrown for a lot. to go. I set with Lundquist under center. Here is the give into the line, and that is to Garvin, who Still four will get ahead for about five. With Summers and uh, Cox in the backfield. Here's a sweet play right going to Colton Cox. He'll put the shoulder down and gets to about the 35-yard line. But, and uh, McNeary wide near side. Here is the shotgun snap. Lundquist looks to throw, fires it, and it's intended for McNeary, but it is right. complete. And the cap... And Milbank now will spread it out. Here's Snaza looking to throw, fires it up, and the ball towards their first tapped. round of the playoffs next Tuesday as well. Under center, Snaza, Montag in the backfield. Here is the play action pass, and Snaza is going to keep it. He'll bounce out of a tackle, rolls to the near side, and is going to uh, get brought down Maybe at the 41 yard line. Bulldogs attack at three receivers right, two near side. And Snaza will take the shotgun snap. Fires it over the middle. And the ball knocked away by Hayline. Snaza in an empty backfield. Shotgun snap. Cavaliers bring five. And here is the pass downfield. And that one is up and overthrown. As, uh, and Tadish comes up and joins Jack. us here tonight. The Cavaliers roll to a 40 to nothing victory here tonight. Started out the game... Uh, uh, offensively just uh, marching right down the field and, and putting points up on the board and I know it got a little sloppy there during the game and I know that was one thing that was a focus tonight clean it up yeah it, you know it really was <laughs> I mean <laughs> you hate to, to kind of sound on a on a down note because you know people are like, gee 140 nothing I, you know I understand that but you know we we did not play the way tonight that I would have liked us to play. Um, we did not run the ball effectively. Uh, you know, we had all kinds of penalties. And then, you know, and then we're whining about all our penalties. You know, it's like... It's like our kids think they have never committed a penalty, and and you know that's that that's disappointing. You know, I mean, you don't want the flags, but that doesn't help us when you know we're we're out doing theatrics and stuff like that. And you know, we we just we, we didn't respond the way that I would like to see us respond. And uh, you know, that that's kind of disappointing. I mean, you know, we I don't know, a little lethargic. Yeah. You know, so and I don't know whether it's well, we're playing a team that's you know one and six and we're pretty sure we're going to beat them and you know we're going to do enough to beat them and you know I guess I I really I don't want to see us you know adopt that kind of a of a mentality you know we don't we don't I think preach that and I don't think we teach that you know uh, we always want to work to do our best and and uh, you know try to get try to get better mm -hmm. so you know I mean offensively in the first half early on we were relatively efficient then you know we got then we got sloppy mm -hmm. you know and and I, I know that really bothers me because that, that's a sign of being undisciplined and I guess you know I've been coaching for 35 years and I, I feel like discipline is one of the things that we work hard at trying to instill and and it feels like we're undisciplined right now and and I don't I don't care for that well and again it's a quick turnaround but those type of things just get so magnified when you get to that second season yeah you know and and you know people are talking about well you play this person these people this thing. well you know what it doesn't really matter you're not going to go very far if that's really 
who you are. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, so I, I, I guess on the plus side, we have an opportunity here to, to find out who we actually are. Yeah. You know, so, you know, uh, it now uh, now the regular season is, is over. And, you know, on the plus side, I mean, these kids have, have accomplished, you know, quite a bit. I, I guess, you know, I'd leave this to research gurus like you and Dave Vilhauer, uh, John Papendick. But, you know, I'd, I'd be kind of curious to see how many teams – uh, have gone eight no three seasons in a row, you know. So this group of seniors has got something kind of cool that's there, but yet, you know, um, we would be remiss if we wanted that to be the highlight, right. you know, of what their career was. So you know, we we just you know again. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Seems like we're a broken record. We got to clean stuff up, and you know, I'm I'm not 100% sure. I'm a little bit perplexed what the answer is to that because you know we've tried patting them on the butt, we've tried kicking them in the butt, and uh, you know so far neither one of those is working. So I, I know there, you know, must be something somewhere in between. We might have to uh, call in some uh, sports psychologists this week. <laughs> well, good luck with that. And again, uh, yeah, again, it's it's an emotional game, and and it's it's hard for kids i guess to keep those emotions in check sometimes i don't know yeah yeah you know i mean kids are kids are human and they're young humans right and uh you know even us old humans don't always do a particularly outstanding job of that myself included so you know th- you know we just uh we just want to be you know we want to be better at those things and we we try to take a lot of pride in and doing the little things right and the little things well um you know, and I, we didn't really do the little thing. We we did big things pretty good tonight. I'm not sure we did little things great. Yeah. You know, so uh, if you're going to be successful down the road, you got to do the little things. You bet. Um, you guys have probably looked at it a lot more than I have, and I always tend to prognosticate who your next opponent's going to be when we get to this time of year because of the PowerPoint thing. I can never figure that thing out. Does it look like Redfield next week, or do you um, have an idea? I, I think it's probably going to be Redfield. Okay. Uh, based on the projection that that I've seen Mm -hmm. you know there I think there's a little bit of if you know Dunk beats Tiddlywinks. Yeah, you know, it could change PowerPoint somewhere, but I, you know, I, th- I think that's the way that it's going to shake out. Although, you know, I'm not necessarily a professor of bracketology either. Boy, and and that's one formula I've never been able to figure out. So. That's why God yeah. created young, tech savvy guys like Coach Breeze that <laughs> uh, you know develop all these spreadsheets and plug everything in, and uh, you know, I'm just usually pretty chill if I can get an email. So. Yeah. <laughs> there you you go. I'm glad I can get on Huddle. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, I would be remiss, too, if I did not say happy birthday to you. I won't <laughs> sing, but I understand uh, a little birdie told me that yesterday was your birthday? It was. Okay. It was. Yeah, uh, happy birthday. Uh, um, thanks. You know, 39. Hey. You've been coaching since you were, what, seven? <laughs> well, I, pro- I looked like I was seven when I started. <laughs> uh, I didn't even shave till I was like 28. <laughs> so, uh, you know, not, not you know, now I have to shave almost every day. <laughs> almost every day. That's that's a good one. Yeah. Uh, I didn't have the gray hair back then either. <laughs> I used to tell the kids, well, I, I never had these till I met you. <laughs> yep, yep. Marks of distinction for but, sure. But thank you. I, I appreciate that. It, you know, it beats, uh, I guess it beats not having them anymore. This is true. This is true. Terry, thanks for coming up. Have a safe trip back. We'll see you next Tuesday. All right. And uh, just uh, before you go, first of all, I, I'm I'm assuming probably that little, little birdie's name was Jill, so. You're absolutely right. Yes. So, thank you, dear. Okay. And uh, just like to uh, send out uh, sympathy to the uh, Andera and, and Zalk family. Uh, one of our players, Anthony Andera, and uh, his mother, Sandy, teaches with us at the school. Uh, um, Rita Zalk, uh, mom and grandma, passed away and uh, the funerals this weekend. So we'd like to express our sympathy there. And, and then also to the Dix family. Yes. You know, um, <laughs> long time, long Longtime fan, Cal Dix, uh, you know, friend of a uh, of a lot of people, and he sent a lot of kids through Ron Colley. Yes, he and, did. Uh, you know, still salt of the earth and a salty old guy at 89. But uh, so uh, a sympathy out to, to Cal's family, and uh, um, you know, especially uh, you know, we got some of those guys that played for us and that, and uh, you know, always a tough deal when that sort of stuff happens. It is, and you just hope that they had two of the best seats in the house, you know, to to catch this one tonight. And well, 
oh, the playoffs. Yeah. You know, you know? They, they're, they're right up there like in the Goodyear blimp, man. You bet. You bet. Terry, thanks again. All right. Thanks, guys. You bet. Terry Dash, head yeah, coach of the Cavaliers again, Rob, for Zach Lundquist. Zach also had two one-year touchdown runs. Uh, Receiving-wise, uh, Colton Cox, three catches for 35 yards. Braden McNary, six for 93. Braden Summers, two catches for 26 yards. And uh, Landon Hayline had four catches for 85 yards. Jaden Everson, two catches for uh, 43 yards. So, again, spread the ball around a lot here tonight. Uh, Connor Fiedler had one catch as well. Uh,